Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Rajon Clark and this this is the Unknown Weekly, pretty much a show for the artist by an artist. And today we're going to be talking about the homie Mike Frost who actually just made a quick name change from Mike Xanax. So, I don't really know which one's better. They both kind of sound equally badass, but uh comment down below for the one that you actually like more. I actually I don't yeah, I really don't know. But anyways, let's get into it. So, hailing from Bellflower, California, Mike Frost pretty much had a normal childhood. He actually got in trouble with his parents a lot, and that kind of reminds me of me, myself, because, you know, me and moms used to get into it. Typical black American dad story. Fucking never had one. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I mean, you know, he, he says that he used to get into it with his dad. Uh, kill me, please. But anyways, it's all good. We're just going to keep on going. But yeah, that actually reminds me so much of me. And I don't know, dude. Like, it's crazy how short you've been making beats. Coming December 25th, he's actually been making beats three years. It's not even December. And this dude is making this level of beats like this level of music fuck it's just like unheard of this dude is seriously on his way to being something i don't know what but it's something and that's awesome okay so let's get into the parental section of the show so i've ran into a lot of artists who said that their parents really don't or didn't actually support them because they didn't actually know what the hell they were doing well, it turns out that this dude's parents stuck by him, and it's actually pretty cool, man. Like I said, a lot of parents don't do this. Like, half of the time, their parents, our parents, actually, are just wondering wondering what the hell we're getting into. They actually support him uh, through what he's doing, and, you know, and that's actually mad, worth mad respect for me like you don't you just don't hear about that type of stuff and that like i said i, I rock with that oh also he says that his parents taught him a lot and that's like i said that's what kind of what parents do so yeah there goes that <laughs> So who inspired this guy growing up was a lot, a lot of Atlanta producers, uh, Lex Luger, Southside, Sunny Digital, and that's just the name of few. If you guys don't know who these particular folks are, also I forgot to mention Zaytoven, who could forget fucking Zaytoven, like this dude is like pretty much a, a legend, like it's already said, like, you know, that's what it is. But. Yeah, if you guys actually want to hear some of their stuff, I should have a link in the description below. So yeah, go ahead and check that out if you're interested. So I asked him what his craziest feature was or his craziest collaboration. And he said DJ Smokey. I wasn't really familiar with DJ Smokey. So actually I'm still not quite familiar with him. So I'm gonna have to look into that and actually if anybody in uh can get in the comment section who already is a fan can let me know his music or you know give me a solid opinion on it you know it might persuade me to go and check that out sooner so that'd be cool but the biggest biggest thing that i actually saw during this interview was so sick he actually did a track with og tracks from 808 mafia 808 fucking mafia dude this dude has been making music for only two and a half years and this dude is already making music with 808 mafia you just don't hear that type of shit it's crazy this dude is actually building or laying the bricks towards greatness man like that's that's actually fucking amazing and if you're a hater go fuck yourself why would you say that like you Literally, I, I like this dude's music. It's fuck, actually my favorite track is Divergent. Like, that's my shit personally. So, yeah, also that's gonna be in the description below too. So, yeah, like I said, go check it out. So, the last question that I ended up asking him was Do you love your city? 
and it was actually a very very different answer than what I expected Be due to the fact that he is from Bellflower and surrounded by the majority of LA County this dude is surrounded by places like Long Beach, Carson, home of Absol, Compton, just basically LA as a whole. Bellflower kind of doesn't have that many well-known artists coming out of it. And the fact that he's doing something for his city is very, very respectable because you really don't hear a lot of people out of Bellflower. And like I said, that's, that's actually really, really dope. So yeah, man, good on you, dude. <clears throat> so if you liked that video, please leave a like, comment down below, and definitely subscribe. Um, I think this dude is actually really, really, really fucking good. I listen to him every single fucking day, whether it be I'm washing dishes to working. But yeah, man, it's... It's just, like I said, it's really, really, really good music. Like, I couldn't stand behind it more. Um, but yeah, anyways, I think I just made your playlist. So, peace.